Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing some super easy and super quick DIYs for spring and Easter. Starting out with this first project, I picked up this gorgeous frame from my local thrift store. Now, it definitely wasn't the color that I wanted, so I did just end up taking this outside, spray painting it with some of my white Rust-Oleum spray paint. Then, once it was dry, I brought this back inside, and I'm just using some painter's tape to tape off that inner frame because I want to use some of my European Gold Rub and Buff to paint this whole piece up. Now, I did end up having to use a smaller paintbrush for this in a little bit because I couldn't get into all those little crevices and I really wanted this whole centerpiece to be gold. Once I was all finished, I was able to just remove my painter's tape and then for this project, I'm going to be using some of these vintage scrapbook pages. These are the same ones that I've had since Christmas from Amazon. You guys know I absolutely love these. So I picked a music sheet and then I also got these cute little Peter Rabbit stamps from Amazon that I'm going to be using and I'm just going to use some of my archival ink and I'm going to stamp these three little sleeping bunnies onto my music sheet. Then all I had to do was just cut that down and add this to my frame. For this next simple project, I found these adorable wood bunnies at my thrift store and I actually found them at different times, separate times that I went there, but I thought they were really adorable together so I wanted to make these into a pair. Now as you can see, the blue one definitely not my style and of course the white one needed a good cleaning and a couple coats of paint. So for both of these, I'm just using some of my Waverly white chalk paint and the white one I did two coats and for the blue one I ended up doing about three to four coats on that one. And as you can see, once I painted them, they were already looking so much better, but I definitely wanted to do a really simple design on these. These are actually the stencils that I got from Amazon that I used on my mirror makeover, and I am going to use these stencils and the color Warm Buff from Apple Barrel to add some little designs all over these bunnies. Now, as you can tell, these bunnies are awkward shapes shapes which makes it a little bit difficult to do stencils on here because they do have legs and the smaller one has arms that I had to work around so I just used pretty much all three of these stencils and kind of flipped them and turned them to fit the way that I wanted to. And the great thing about this craft treat stencil is that once you flip it around or flip it upside down you can actually line up the stencil to match with the previous stencil that you did when it was flipped over. So when I moved on to my larger bunny, it was super easy to line these up and make the stencils match. And I think both of these bunnies turned out really cute and go together so well now. For this next project, I'm actually just using a scrap piece of drop cloth that I've had in my stash. I always have a ton of drop cloth from projects that I do in my house, so this was just a piece I had left over. And I was going to use that little square wood block that I got from Dollar Tree. In the end, I actually decided to change that up, and you'll see that in a minute. But I am going to be using this really adorable bird stamp that I got from Amazon 
Amazon and I'm just going to cut down a piece of my drop cloth to fit that stamp and then I frayed the edges a little bit and again I'm going to be using some of my archival ink to stamp this piece of drop cloth. And I'm just making sure that I am pressing this down really nicely so that I can get all those little details onto the fabric. And here is where I decided to change out the piece of wood. The original Dollar Tree piece of wood was more square and I needed a rectangular piece for this. So this piece is actually also from Dollar Tree and I didn't like the color so I just dry brushed some white paint over it and then grabbed four of these gold thumbtacks that I also picked up at Dollar Tree and I'm just pushing these in a little bit because I'm going back in right here with some of my gold rub and buff and I am just antiquing those before pushing them in. Now you may remember this super simple snowman wreath that I did back in January, but since I am in the mood for spring and all things spring and Easter, I thought that I could definitely just make this over really quickly into a bunny. So all I'm going to do to this snowman is remove all of those little pine picks and I'm actually going to leave his bow. I figured this fits perfectly with my bunny as well because again, I just want this to be super Super simple. So I'm just going to take some of this wired jute twine from Dollar Tree and I'm making two very simple little bunny ears with this and then I'm just going to attach that to the back side of my wreath. Then I will make an identical little ear to put on the opposite side. Then for my floral picks, I just picked up these very muted green and kind of off-white flowers from Dollar Tree. And all I'm doing is just replacing those pine picks with these flowers. Super easy to do and just make this snowman over into an Easter bunny. And then once Easter is over, he can turn back into a snowman. For my final project, I picked up this magazine rack and I want to give a huge shout out to Sharon from one of the Facebook groups I was in because I always pass these up before until I saw her make over one of these magazine racks and use it for something totally different. So I picked this up, but of course did not like the color. So I ended up just spray painting this with three coats of my Rust-Oleum white spray paint. That was just much easier and then I'm using this stencil that I got in a pack of six stencils I believe from Amazon. Now I didn't get any video footage of me stenciling this but I do use the stencil on both sides of this magazine rack and again using that apple barrel color warm buff to do the stencil. These fit perfectly on the sides of this magazine rack. Now I thought that this needed just a little more detail on the front so I'm actually going to be using one of my molds from Amazon and some of my air dry clay and I'm just going to make a little bit of detail to put on the front side of the handle. So here I'm just pressing down my clay into my mold and then as always just using my finger to kind of press this into the mold and wipe off the excess clay. Then I was able to just remove this mold and use some gel super glue to attach this to the front of the handle. Now to decorate my magazine rack, which 
definitely isn't going to be used for magazines. I'm actually just using some Dollar Tree paper bags and I ended up using three of these just folding down the top part of this and making them into little vases so that I could add in some of Dollar Tree's spring florals. And since I am decorating for spring right now, I am just again using some very muted colored flowers and greenery, but I will be able to change this out for different seasons and holidays. And that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed these super easy and quick spring and Easter DIYs. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.